Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you something pretty neat. It's a 1940s serviceman photo album from, I believe, Occupy Japan. Um, I got it on eBay for a real bargain deal. So, like, I saw it, and it had, like, a minute left, and um, I won it for $13 and one penny. And with shipping, it cost me under 20 bucks. And I'm, like, really, like, amazed at the uh, bargain I got on a piece of history. So this is a Japanese photo album, and it has a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern with some kind of silk material. It's quite colorful, as you can see, and it has little ribbons in the corner holding the book together, and it's in really good condition for such an old book. Um, and so let's begin. I'm going to show you inside the uh, photographs of this GI's personal story, and I believe it is Occupy Japan sometime in the 40s, maybe the late 40s or the mid 40s. It has rice paper with a really pretty sheen to it. And uh, the book is constructed out of a heavy, thick construction paper type of material. I don't know uh, what you call this, but it's probably like some kind of thick construction paper. And uh, so here we go. So it looks like the GIs are in some kind of recreation center. They're playing table tennis or um, ping pong. And this is cool. So you see this GI here and he has some kind of monkey. So he's holding this little monkey and smiling. And the GI in the back is laughing. He thinks it's uh, funny too. I'm surprised. Like I thought those monkeys were pretty vicious. I'm surprised it didn't bite them. Now um, what we have here is some kind of pinup girl that they painted on the wall. She looks like some Hollywood starlet. And below it, it says no credit. I don't know what the hell that means. Was it a house of prostitution? I have no idea. It says 15 cents a can. Don't know what the heck that means. And again, we have them playing ping pong here. And in the corner, if you notice, is a little Japanese lady. So I don't know what the heck that's all about. It's out of focus. I apologize for the uh, glare. I have a chandelier above the uh, table that I'm at. And it's casting a glare. So we have these two GIs standing outside some kind of building. Don't know what that is. And here we have another pinup girl again. And she's nude. So she's wearing some kind of a bathing suit. And um, it's see-through and sheer. And uh, my dog is making a racket in the other room. I apologize. Here we have uh, an action shot. And you can see the GI, he's hitting the ball with the paddle and the ball is airborne. Then we have another GI hamming it up. And again, there he is with his jacket on, hanging out with the boys. And they look like they're having a really good time. Here he is again, the same guy. He was probably quite a character. Then we have, uh, again, they're still playing. And there's the action scene as the bull hits the paddle. And uh, he has a neat patch on his... Uh, shoulder and I believe it's a letter T and it looks like sergeant stripes. I think he was a technician in the army. And again, playing table tennis, playing table tennis again. And there's the ham hamming it up guy right there. So now we have some what appears to be outside street scenes and we have here Let's see, what's it say? It says, 126 Signal Service Company, Camp Stafford. So I believe this was the Signal Corps. And I think they were in charge of the radio communications. And this looks like the uh, barracks. I see Signal Corps flags, 126. That's pretty cool. Then we have a scene here, an outdoor scene, landscape. That's pretty. 
pretty structure. Then we see what appears to be soldiers and people in the background. And again, we have a technician. I think it's the same guy we saw earlier. And from, from what I read, that, that particular patch was assigned and that rank was assigned in 1942. I didn't do um, research on much of the other photos. So um, I'll do that later and see what I can find out. And so it looks like um, they had, uh, they were homesick and they drew like some kind of map of a part of the USA, which was the Northeast, it looks like. Pretty cool. And we have, let's see, more photos. So again, outside scenes, it looks like some kind of landscapes. Beautiful steps, look at that, wow. And we have this GI over here doing something. It looks like he's at a fountain. Maybe he's getting water. Maybe that's where they got water. I don't know. I think I'll never know. And my dog is roaming the house right now up to no good. That's why he wears bells. So if you hear bells going off, it's Kenji doing something he shouldn't. Beautiful uh, architecture on these buildings. Wow, look at that. That's quite beautiful. We got uh, GI over here. I see a food dog in the background. So my little Shih Tzu is actually the symbol for the food dog. And I, uh, I'm going to start collecting uh, food dog statues. I like food dogs. Now we have some more photos. Look at that. We have now civilian scenes, it appears. And this looks like some kind of market. Japanese market. It looks like a Japanese child walking down the street. And I don't know what they're selling. There's stuff hanging from the ceiling. I have no clue. If you know, write in the comments below. Here's a structure. Here's bridges being built. Maybe when the U.S. destroyed the bridges, they uh, started to rebuild. And that's part of the occupation. Nice street scene here. I see Japanese writing on the signs. They seem happy. We have a military vehicle here. Another street scene here. Another street scene. A mother and her child. Another structure. Now we have, uh, it looks like a railroad crossing. And I see some of the signs in English. So that's uh, really interesting to see. Another street scene. Looks like a poorer area. Me trying to trying to get the glare out of the photo. It's very hard. Oh my God, my house makes lots of noises. Sorry. And yeah, so this album has uh, got a lot of photos in it. So I got my money's worth. Looks like some kind of rice patties with people planting or picking the rice. I don't know. It 
looks like an oxen, maybe there's rice in those burlap sacks. I have no clue. More rice paddy fields, it looks like here. And the structures are pretty cool. They look like they have straw roofs or mud roofs. That's like amazing. More rice paddies, it appears. I wonder what those pipes are for. Is that to pump raw sewage into there for fertilizer? I don't know, but the thought of that just makes me want to puke. <laughs> But I heard that they did that, so if that's true, yuck. Here's another street scene. It looks like poor people. Another railroad crossing. Interesting and more rice patties. Well, this guy was uh, obsessed with rice patties, <laughs> right? I wonder why. <laughs> Looks like they're building a bridge in the background. Looks like uh, some kind of bridge was being constructed, which is quite cool. More rice patties. Boy, oh boy. I don't think we're going to be spared. We're going to be seeing a lot of rice patties. So we got mountain scenes with uh, civilians. And again, more rice patties. Some guy's wearing a straw hat in the field. More mountain scenes and rice paddy scenes. Maybe this guy was a farmer back in the States. Who knows? We're missing some photos. Wow, hot spring. That's beautiful. That's really lovely. Another structure. We have a uh, Seen with some canoes on a lake. And these are larger photos. And yeah, so it was a hot spring. It says Unsen Hot Springs. That's quite interesting. More hot springs. It's quite pretty. This guy was a talented photographer. Looks like some kind of scene in, in the town. I see people walking. And you see that Japanese architecture. We're missing a photo there. Wow, what a pretty waterfall. Another beautiful scene. That is beautiful. I wonder where that was. More structures. I think I see a military vehicle there. It's quite interesting. Mountain scene. Another mountain scene. Another hot spring scene. That's really beautiful. Another mountain scene. Some kind of structures. And this one is really a cool, cool photo. So it shows you all the GIs at some kind of Japanese building. Looks like a tower of some sort with Japanese writing. And here they are. So it appears that there's some American soldiers in here um, mixed with some Japanese people, I think. And then we see um, also African-American soldiers. It's 
quite awesome. I think I see rubble in the background. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, the building has some sort of rubble, I believe. But that's quite fascinating to see. All these guys together. That's great. That's a great photo. And we have railroads now. So we have railroad tracks. Sorry for the glare. I think that's more rice paddies or farmland. Looks like a train station here. Looks like some kind of port. I see um, beautiful structures. Another train station. Let's see what that says. Hiroshima. So we have a Hiroshima train station. Quite interesting. Some more structures. Some kind of uh, bridge. They may have been fixing it or constructing it. And this looks like a cemetery. A lot of headstones here. Some more structures. There's some Japanese writing on the roof. Looks like a barrack. Bridge or some sort. And again, it looks like some kind of cemetery of some sort. I think I see headstones, I'm not sure. We have railroad again. See some tracks here. It looks like a railroad, um, like some kind of coal cart maybe. So there's coal on these cars, I believe. More coal cars, it looks like. Stupid glare. So hard to get, you know, in focus. Looks like that cemetery again that I was showing you a moment ago. More railroad. A civilian scene. Looks like some kind of railroad uh, depot or stop. And a beautiful structure in the background. Camp Mower, 34th Infantry Regiment, Offices Quarters. And it looks like a, a checkpoint of some sort here. Camp Mower, uh, 34th Regiment. Very interesting. And this looks like some kind of barracks. Maybe that's barracks. Very cool. 
all this for $19. And we have ladies in kimonos. They're probably at the officer's building. I wonder what they're doing there. <laughs> Insert sarcasm here. Maybe they were prostitutes. I hope not. Yuck. <laughs> and it looks like some kind of golf course here. I see the ninth hole. So they had a golf course over there. Here's more hot springs and an aerial view of some sort. And we're missing some photos. We have this. And we're getting to the end, I promise you. And it looks like some kind of train, train stops. And rice patties, more rice patties. So you have this train station here. Nagoya, Hamatsu, interesting, Atsu, let me see. And this is what's really amazing. It looks like they're Japanese soldiers coming home from somewhere. Maybe they were in Shanghai and they're coming home. I see bags. They look like they're coming off of a train. That's quite interesting. Look at all these pictures, my God. Is that another rice patty? Really pretty bridge. Another gorgeous bridge. <laughs> More rice patties. And farmland. And this says, Bird's eye view of something. I have no clue. Looks like some kind of merchant's cart, maybe. Has like hanging lanterns of some sort. That's really cool. Look at that. It has wheels. As Japanese lanterns it dwarfs like it's so tiny like the people are so tiny next to this gigantic thing we have a waterfall of some sort and we're coming to the end I promise and we have some military vehicles looks like some sort of hotel it says something hotel we have a Jeep, an old car. And I see some military vehicles here as well. Some Jeeps and whatnot. And some nature scenes. And we're almost, sorry about that. My phone ran out of uh, memory. So I just had to erase some videos. So we have some more um, railroad scenes. 
appears to be a tunnel with train tracks. Another railroad shot. Mountains. Oh, wait, and a waterfall. That's really beautiful. I had to open up my patio door. Even though it's almost December, it got stiflingly hot out suddenly in my house, and I shut the heat off. <laughs> That's how hot it got in here. And in New York, that's quite rare. It was freezing cold the other day, and then it got very humid out because it's raining. So we got a GI with the waterfall. Another waterfall shot. Another waterfall shot. More landscape scenes and people, everyday people walking. Maybe they uh, had a factory job that they were going to. I don't know if that was some kind of sewer system that they're standing by. Maybe for the latrines. I don't know. Let me try to... I hate my phone. It does not focus very well. And the glare does not help. So, last but not least, we have this photo. So, all in all, I think this was an amazing find for under 20 bucks. And I'm very pleased that I could share it with you guys. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.